morning everybody, Victoria here, violinist with Promusica Chamber Orchestra saying hi on a Sunday morning on a Chicago rainy day unfortunately. Um, I'm really excited to make this video for all of you. I miss my Promusica family like crazy. Uh, it's become such a big part of my life and I can't wait to go back to it. This is my practice space. I'm just going to give you a quick uh, tour. It's very small. <laughs> um, so you, this is where I teach and I do my arranging and I read. Um, I have a yoga bolster and that's Vintage who decided to make an appearance in this video. <laughs> um, I've been reading a lot. I've been cooking a lot, experimenting with many, many uh, vegan recipes. I'm vegan and I eat all plant-based. Um, and it's just been fun. I'm trying to stay positive and do as many good things as I can while we are all at home. Um, I made an arrangement for you uh, of one of my favorite Piazzolla pieces. It's called Chiquilin de Bachin. And it's, it's the setting for a poem um, that your wine writer um, wrote. His name is uh, Horacio Ferrer. He was the same person that wrote the libretto for Maria de Buenos Aires which is Piazzolla's only opera. Um, and this song is actually a very sad one. Uh, it has a very s sad story. However, Piazzolla managed to give it a beautiful musical setting. And to me, it's a bit of what we are all living now. Um, you know, it's a sad time. It's a time where there's a lot of ambiguity. We don't know really how long it's gonna last and you know, However, there is always light that we can turn to, and to me that's what music does to us. It's no matter how sad things can be, we can always look at the beautiful things and the beautiful side of things. So I leave you with uh, Piazzolla's Chiquilin de Batin. <laughs> 